Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Liz and this is Let's Get Lizical where we do everything card making. Today we're doing um, holiday card hijinks, which is my hashtag for my Christmas card series that I do on the 25th of every month. And if you go onto my Instagram, the first photo on my page is the prompts. This month's prompt for September 2024 is Christmas tree. So we're going to be using Lawn Fawns Build a Christmas Tree die set. Um, sorry if I sound a little stuffy. I have a bit of a cold. I was playing with my nephews this weekend and they're both sick. So um, I got their diseases. <laughs> it happens. Um, but anyway, uh, so what I'm doing is I've cut out all of the pieces that I need. I cut the tree out of green cardstock. Um, it's just like a color I don't use too often. Like it's a bright green and I thought I could just like tone it down with a little bit of ink blending so that's what I'm doing here I'm just kind of doing a bit of an ombre but because I have colored cardstock I don't have to like worry about it too much being like smooth um, so I'm just making sure I make it darker at the top of each section and lighter towards the bottom of each section and then I'm going to attach it to the base piece which I also ink blended around the edges just so that that bright green cardstock didn't show through when I put these pieces on. These pieces are actually slightly bigger, so I don't think it would show through, but um, it's a good idea to do it anyway. You can also just use the background tree part um, on its own, which I might do in a future card and, you know, do it a little bit differently. But uh, for now, I'm just going to use the die as intended and for the tree stump here I'm just using an alcohol marker to ink blend a little bit of shadow along the top. I probably should have brought it down a little bit further because I think I end up gluing most of this piece. For the star I cut it out of gold foiled cardstock and there's two layers. There's like the base layer and then the top layer with the stitching. My cardstock's still a little bit wet at this point. I probably should have let it dry a bit before I started gluing things together but I'm impatient when it comes to that. I just want to assemble my card and get it ready to go. Uh, for the card base, I did have this done previously because I just had a bunch of like scrap cardstock I wanted to use up and I liked the layout that I did for one of my Get Creeping on Halloween cards. So I'll link that at the end of the video if you want to know how to make this card. But I basically went and from I think I'm one and a quarter inch from the top I cut the card base at the front and then I cut out a one and a half inch section and then I just replaced it with acetate and then put an extra layer of white cardstock on top just to like sandwich that acetate and then I ended up putting the pattern paper on top of that matted um, with a one eighth inch border around that. You could also leave out the acetate if you wanted to and just kind of like use the tree as like a bridge between the top and the bottom, which I don't think I've ever done that. I think I usually um, add the acetate just because I feel like it gives it more strength, especially since I add extra layers to sandwich that acetate just so you don't see it on the back. For this, the tree, I debated on cutting one out of white to cover the back of it, but it wasn't that bad when I looked at the back. Um, you could barely see the glue that I put there and it wasn't a huge enough section for me to really care. Like people aren't going to be studying the inside of your card. Like it's meant to, you know, look at the outside, the outside is displayed and, um, you know, you really don't need to worry about the inside back of the front panel. But if you want to, you can always cut, um, extra layers just to cover those up. Um, and then what I did for the decorations on the tree is I cut two of the bigger like chain strands and the smaller one in silver and I just kind of like draped them over the tree and then I cut out these like sequin bit ones in red foil paper that I had and I'm going to put those you know sporadically throughout the tree. I think I cut two of those. They come in like a strip of five so I put ten of those on the card. And then this is how it looks. So again, you don't see much in the back. I am trimming the silver up against like flat to the tree so it's not sticking out for some reason. It just looks messy to me um, when the little bits stick out. But maybe if I had assembled it 
off card, it would have, you know, made a difference. I'm not sure. Um, I just thought I would just cut them off for a cleaner look. And then I'm using this Lawn Fun, I think it's called Merry Messages stamp set. And this is where I pull out the die because I was thinking about cutting the white and then decided not to. And then I'm going to stamp the Merry Christmas and Happy New Year onto some white cardstock and add that to the card base just as a like plain black on white strip. Nothing fancy. This is a fairly simple card that doesn't actually take long to put together, even if you are making the card base at the same time. Again, I made this ahead of time because I had the paper and I actually have like a half a dozen cards that I've made up just to decorate in future because I wanted to get some things off my desk and because I wanted to use up some cardstock scraps that I had. And once I'm done this, I'm going to uh, glue it to another layer of cardstock just to give it a tiny bit of dimension. I was just debating on popping it up on some foam tape, but decided to do it on an extra layer of cardstock instead. Just because it was sitting there, it was easy. I didn't have to get up and grab anything. So it just made my life a little bit easier. Um, but that's pretty much our card for today, guys. Thanks again for joining me. Quick and simple card for today, because that's how we roll. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so you don't miss any future content or giveaways because I have another one coming up. I have reached a thousand subscribers. So super excited about that. But anyway, we'll be back again on Friday for our regular scheduled video. And until then, thanks guys. Bye.